Joe's powers are very impressive. You know that? Agreed. It's Archer, wait. What is it, Rick? Look. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? I mean, even... It there... certainly is. I'm going to go tell his family. Doctor. How's Tony? His vital signs are continuing to improve, and we've just noticed eye movement. Eye movement? Did he see you? No, he's still unconscious. But this kind of movement signals the fact that he might be coming out of it soon. Can we go in and see him now? Yeah, but one, one at, at a time. time. Right. Go ahead, Tony. Thank you. This is Jurgens on 10 outside ICU. I want a replacement up here for me right away. I've got to get in touch with Commissioner Scorpio. I'll be there in five minutes. Be here in two minutes. I can't leave my post until another guard takes over. Hey, wait a minute. Is, is my brother's improvement the reason for the increase in security? You can bet on it. This is where I have men stationed at the entrances. Here, here, here. Well, you are thorough. I just hope nothing happens in Port Charles to make me pull men off this detail. You really think that even with all this added security that there's going to be another attempt on Tony's life? If he keeps showing signs of improvement, the answer to that is yes. Where can I reach you if I want you, Robert? Now, it depends how much you want me. Sometimes, desperately. You should have thought of that earlier. Now, come on, come on, come on. Answer my question. Well, first I'm going to my office to check through the hospital security, point by point. Then I'm going to the hospital myself to check the whole thing through, point by point. I wish we knew how Tony was this morning. Well, I was expecting a call before I left. I did phone earlier, and his doctors were just starting to examine him. Have you seen Felicia lately? No, why? Well, I know that she can't relate to what Tanya and Frisco are going through, but she must be going through hell herself, don't you think? Yeah. Her guilt must be enormous. Yeah, I guess it is. I wonder if my talking to her might help. Scorpio. I see. Yeah. I'll come straight down to the hospital. Yeah, thank you. What is it? The morning report on Tony is good. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Is he out of the coma? No, it's not as deep as it was, and uh, he's showing signs of eye movement. With this kind of news, I can drag in more men for security. Who, who, who? Who shot him? While he was treating Peter. That's the key to this whole thing. I suppose now it's more important than ever that news of Tony's improvement doesn't get out. Somebody out there wants him to die as much as we want him to live. And then when they let you out of the hospital, we're going down to the hacienda. Mariah invited us to go down there as her guest when you're recuperating. And when you start to feel better, we're going to go on walks. And we're going to go swimming. And we're going to spend a lot of time thinking about what we're going to name our baby. Now, if it's a boy, that's going to be easy. Because I want to name him Anthony. Unless, of course, you don't like that name. Then I'm going to put up one heck of a fight. Because I want two Tonys. Can you hear me? Tony, can you hear me? That's such a good sign. Don't rush anything. Don't rush a thing, baby. You're gonna be okay. Did you see the eye movement? Yes, I did. I saw it. I don't think he heard me, but... No, not yet. But soon? It's possible. Tanya, I want you to go home. I want you to get some rest. My time's up. Well, let's save a little time for Frisco. Yeah. You're right. I'm going to be back, darling. In an hour. And I'm putting ten additional men on each shift to beef up security. 
You really think there's going to be another attempt on his life? As long as he keeps in improving, it's the great danger. Listen, I'm glad you put extra men around here, Robert. I want you to know that I'm prepared to stay right at this spot. I won't move. Well, thanks for the offer, Frisco, but uh, we've got men trying to do that, why don't you? Just look after Tanya. I think Tony would want you to do that. Look, I'm just trying to work this out, that's all. Yeah. Tanya, how is he? I saw the eye movement, and he's definitely got more color. Oh. Yeah. Robert, what is it? Is something wrong? No, love. You know, just routine, checking things out. Is it, I think it's time that I spoke my piece. Would you mind, please? Mm. Frisco, I want you to take Tanya home and uh, let her get some rest, please. Well, not just yet. I've got to go back in and visit Tony. I made him a promise. I said I'd be back in an hour. All right, fine. <clears throat> May I ask you something? When was the last time you had something to eat? To eat? Yeah, eat. Um, she hasn't had a decent breakfast, let's put it that way. You know, my friend, you have got to take care of yourself. She's right. I'll take her down to the cafeteria to get some. But you Great. want to see Tony for a few minutes, right? Well, yeah, I do. All yes. right, why don't you walk with us to the house, please? please? I'll be right down. And Robert, thanks for looking at you, Tony. You can be sure of it, love. Well, I'd say this... Oh, uh, Dr. Palmer, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? Uh, is it possible to move Tony to another hospital? I'm suggesting a place in Buffalo. I'd like him out of Port Charles completely. No, Mr. Scorpio, it wouldn't be safe to try to move him. That's what I thought you'd say. Well, when? Well, at the present rate of his progress, uh, might be able to be moved in five or six days. No sooner? No. So much for that broad idea. No, if we can keep him safe for five or six days, your idea could work. Strange, isn't it? When we should be celebrating Tony's improvement. In actual fact, we're worried sick about it. Think about bailing out your kid brother again. a day. She's getting, getting plenty of rest. So don't you worry. I think it's time now. Oh, sure. sure. Downstairs. Yes, I know, but when you reach the tent, we have to check you again. Oh. It's all right. They're uh, on Commissioner Scorpio's list for the tenth floor. Okay. You're okay. You understand? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, Felicia. Yes? Don't you think it would be better, perhaps, if you wait out here until I've seen Frisco and Tanya? Well, I don't want to upset them. All right. Then you, you better wait here.
Now remember, every door leads somewhere. I don't care how unimportant it seems to be. I want every entrance and exit placed under surveillance. Basement to roof. Let's go for a walk and see what might have missed. Oh, Mariah. How was the visit? Oh, it was good. It was good. His color is better. And he did a little more of that eye movement that they were talking yeah. about before. Next hour when I go in, I'm going to try to hold his hand and see if he can't hear me. Well, Frisco, I did that. I said, hold my hand and if you hear me, squeeze. He's going to hear us real soon, Tanya. I yeah. think so. Oh, I know it. Oh, Mariah came by to say goodbye and to invite Tony and I to come down to the Hacienda when he's recuperating. Oh. That was very nice of you, Mariah. Oh, your brother and Tanya are two of my favorite honeymooners. We'll miss you. Well, you must come down and visit me, too. And now, Frisco, there's something else I want to say. What? Felicia is here with me. She's waiting out at the nurse's station. There is nothing in the world that she wants more than to make amends. Mariah, this is nothing against you, believe me. But the first amends Felicia could make is to stay away from me and Tanya. I understand. Tony. He's improving. Thank God. But you're leaving Port Charles with me today, Felicia. It's hopeless for you. Now, Miss is not here, but I expect her very soon. Can I take a message? No, thanks. I'm in general. I'll just drop by. Okay. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ruby. How can I do for you? Maybe some breakfast? Um, no, thank you, but some coffee would be lovely. I you was hoping it. to see Felicia. She's not here. I expect her back shortly. Also, she just got a phone call. She's at the hospital with her grandmother. Mariah has to go back to Texas today. Oh, that's a shame. Felicia must need her right now. Yes, she really does. Yeah, they are. All right, now, Felicia, I'm going upstairs to pack, and I suggest you do the same thing. Hello. Oh, hello, Holly. I hear you have to go back. Yes, I do. And you too, Felicia? Uh, yes, Grandmother thinks it's best. Uh, do you have a minute before you pack? Sure. No? All right, and if you'll excuse me, I'll go ahead and get at it. Can I help you, Mariah? Oh, yes, please, Ruby. Come on. Sure. Do you really have to go back to Texas? My grandmother thinks it's hopeless here. I'd like to uh, talk to you for a minute, if you don't mind, before you make this move. Well, I don't really think there's anything to talk about, Holly. Is this really what you want to do? My grandmother thinks it's the only thing that I can do. I had some crazy ideas about staying here and trying to make amends, but I think it'll be doing everybody a favor if I just vanish and get out of everybody's hair. I know that feeling, but it's not totally wrong, either. And then you have it. There was a time in my life when I had to make amends, too. It wasn't exactly the same situation as you, of course, but I... At the time, it felt as if all the odds were against me. They were impossible to beat. But you did it. Yes. Because it was just impossible for me not to. That's the way I feel. Do you think that you could ever get over Frisco? No, I'll always love him. No matter what? No matter how hard it is to live with that love? No matter what. Well then, if that's how you really feel... I do. I know it. Then you mustn't give up. What? You've got to hang in there, no matter how hard it is for you. Even if I've been made to feel that it's hopeless? Yes. Even then. You know, if you really do love someone, I don't think there is any such word as hopeless. I'm not going home with you, Grandmother. Felicia! My only chance for any kind of future is to stay right here in Port Charles and face the present. But you agree that it was hopeless for you to be here in Port Charles. Mariah, what? Some of this is my doing. But you caused her to change your mind? No, she gave me hope. Oh, Felicia. I really, I, I haven't time now to talk to you about this I'll anymore. Be okay, really. You know what you're up against. Better than anyone. All right. 
I'm going to take you to the airport. Oh, all right. Well, then we can talk about this some more on the way. Ruby, dear, thank you so much for looking after me and Felicia. My pleasure. You come back here soon. Oh, dear. you're a dear. You're so kind. And Holly, please say goodbye to Robert for me, will you? We're going to miss you, Murray. Oh, thank you, dear. And also, will you please tell Robert that if I hear anything more about Peter and his friends, that I'll get in touch. All right, I'll tell him. Bye -bye. I'll be back. Go to the show, love. I'm sure Celia would love to have her best friend on hand. Well, Robert says that I should go. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. Are you sure you don't need me, sweetheart? Not unless you qualify as a police officer and want to do some duty at the hospital tonight. I'm short, one man. Uh, how's Tooney? Tell you what, that guy's stamina is amazing. He's actually showing signs of coming out of coma. You mean he might recover completely? Wouldn't put it past him. Well, that's splendid. Everybody must be thrilled. Mm. Well, I can think of one person outside the hospital that isn't too thrilled about it. Ah, of course. Now, I just wish I could move the guy. Unfortunately, the doctors have nixed it. Do you suppose that word has gotten out about his improvement? Mm, well, I haven't heard about it. Everyone seems to be cooperating in that area. The trouble is, it's the easiest thing in the world for something like that to slip. Yeah, no. I've already had one phony call, which... Could have been a smart aleck reporter looking for some information. On the other hand, it might be the guy who's on the outside that wants to get inside and finish him off before he talks to people. Oh, that's horrible. Come on. Come on. Let's take your mind off it for a while. No. I can't do that, love. I've got to get back to the hospital after dinner. Well, at least for a short period. Oh, uh, I suppose you don't want a glass of wine before dinner? Uh, no thanks. Scorpio. Uh, Robert, it's Sean. Sean, what have you got? I got a lead on an unidentified American about Peter's age in a village up in the Amazon. I'm at a local airport right now, ready to take a plane to go see for myself. Well, I hope it's the end of the trial. Well, it's a long shot, Robert, but I have to check it out anyway. Listen, if it's Peter, he's got to be in awful shape. Now it's vital you take him alive. No, I, I know, I know. Otherwise, Tony Jones may still be in danger. By the way, how is he? Tony? Uh, no change. Oh, it's a shame. I don't see how he can come out of this. I don't think he can pull out of it either. Is he still in a coma? A deep coma. I'll tell you one thing, Robert. I'll catch up with this Peter Harrell. It's the last thing I ever do. Take care of yourself, Sean. He's a desperate man. All right, I'll contact you as soon as I come back down the river. Good. Take care. You too, buddy. Bye. Bye. Robert? Hmm? But you lied. So I did. But he's in on this with you. Well, you see, the rules don't just apply to everyone else. They also apply to me. Sometimes your control puts me in awe of you. Hmm. I think I like the idea of you being in awe of me. Well, you wouldn't forever. Well, why don't we find out? Oh, hmm. come now. Damn, Donnelly's out of touch. Some guy named Salazar said he's on his way up the Amazon and be out of touch indefinitely. Let's face it. Peter's gonna have to be put out of it, too. No more than that Dr. Jones if he lives to talk. It would appear we have to take matters into our own hands now. Well, it's about time. As it is, we've lost valuable time. As I said this morning, if that Jones shows improvement, the tighter the security at General Hospital gets. You think we should go in after him without Sean's okay? Well, if we don't move, his neck will be on the chopping block just as much as ours will. All right. We made the decision to move. I'm ready. And eager. Well, I don't know about you, but I like living. How do we get Slater into the hospital? All right. I'm going down to City Hall and get the plans of General Hospital. Then I'll, uh, I'll get the name of a top plumbing contractor out of the telephone book. I'll pose as the contractor. You, if you don't mind, you phone the fellow up, this contractor, and find out if he's got any sort of accent. And if he isn't an American, I'll go in there with an accent. Okay, Professor? I'll do it. That's going to take time. We'll have to know every 
foot of that general hospital from the basement to the roof, with special emphasis on the 10th floor. That's where they're holding Jones in ICU. If we have the plans to that hospital, we can make educated guesses as to where they have the security posted. And you, you are going to have to know that hospital blindfolded if you want to get out of there alive. And if you get caught alive, you'll be added to the list with Peter and Dr. Anthony Jones, all those who got killed before they could talk.